Hey guys, I'm David with Southern Style DIY. Prefab wire shelving in pantries is terrible and we all know it. We can make something better. So today we're gonna rip all the prefab out and replace it with wood shelves. Off camera, I dry fit the shelves into the pantry and I'm really glad I did because both pieces were a little bit too long. This long piece needs a little bit shaved off the end, so I'll show you a trick at the miter saw where you can flex the blade, which will shave just a tiny amount off of the very edge. These shorter pieces need about a quarter inch sawn off, so I'll mark that, cut it, re-dry fit one into the pantry, and then use that piece, if it fits, to mark all the others. Since we're painting the shelves, I'm gonna make assembly easy on myself by drilling pocket holes into the short shelves, and then we'll assemble to the long shelves with glue and screws. I'll come back and fill the holes with these plugs so that once we paint, nobody's gonna know. While the shelves are drying, we wanna do something about the edges of the plywood. These layers are great for strength, but they're not really the look we're going for. So instead, I'm gonna make some edge banding out of poplar.
To make things easier, we cut the edge banding a little bit big so that we'll have overhang on both sides of the shelf that we'll flush cut later. Next, we'll run a bead of glue along the edges and then secure permanently with both pin nails and blue tape. This combination will ensure that we have even pressure along the whole edge of the shelf. but I did notice some small gaps in some of my joints as well as some knots and imperfections in the plywood. So I fixed all that with wood filler, which is now dry so we can sand it smooth, which of course is the most entertaining part of any woodworking project. It's time for finish, and I'm gonna go with some enamel trim paint because I've heard that it's really good in high traffic areas such as pantries. That will also help hide some of our mistakes that we just covered up with the wood filler. While the paint dries on our new shelves, we can get started on the existing pantry. The first thing we need to do is get rid of all these crappy wire shelves and patch the holes. That way we can throw on a fresh coat of paint and we'll be set for the new clean shelves. camera I put two coats of paint on all the walls and now we're ready to mount the brackets. We're going to be mounting them into studs wherever possible so I'll go ahead and mark the stud locations on one wall. We'll then come back and level the brackets on the other three walls with that original wall to keep everything nice and consistent. Where we can't mount into studs we're going to mount into drywall anchors. The shelves are finally installed, so the last thing we need to do is add some finishing touches. For example, our walls are pretty bowed, which left more than a few gaps. I'm gonna hide the bigger ones with trim and fill the smaller ones with caulk. Last thing we'll need to do is touch up the paint, and then we can fill this up and call it done.
If you liked how we took advantage of otherwise wasted space in our small pantry, I think you're also gonna like how I took advantage of wasted space above my workbench by adding hanging wall control panels. I've got that video pulled up for you right over here, so I'll see you in that video.